The doomsday drought is coming, folks, and you better prepare now because things are not looking good at all for us here in America. The grim 2022 drought outlook for the United States is looking very, very hot and very dry. Much of the western U.S. has been in the grip of an unrelenting drought since early 2020. The dryness has conceded with the record-breaking wildfires, intense and long-lasting heat waves, low stream flows in rivers and small streams, and dwindling water supply in reservoirs that millions of people across the United States rely on. Heading into summer this year, the outlook is pretty grim. One driver of all this in the western droughts has been the persistent La Nina conditions in the tropical Pacific since the summer of 2020. During La Nina, for those of you who don't know, cooler tropical Pacific waters help nudge the jet stream northward that tends to bring fewer storms to the southern tier of the United States and produce pronounced drought impacts in the southwest that we are seeing right now. The other and perhaps more important part of the story is the hotter and drier atmospheric caused by rapidly warming climate. Everything is warming up, folks. The ground is warming up. The air is warming up. We're not getting as much snow as we used to get. And those things are is what is taking place. As we go forward in this year, if this all does come to pass, this is going to be a very bad scenario for us in our food chain supply come later on this year. I've watched how the change in all of the temperatures and all of the droughts and rivers and streams and everything else, the conditions are increasingly getting worse, particularly in the western and central United States. The last two years has been more than two degrees Fahrenheit warmer than normal in a lot of these different regions. There's a large part of the southwest has been even hotter with temperatures more than three degrees Fahrenheit higher. And this is going on a 20 year drought folks and most severe in the last 1200 years based on how dry the soils are at this point in time. We can expect to have these flash droughts is what these people call these things even in wetter areas that normally don't have droughts. Put it to you this way, the changing nature of drought is a very big concern, even in parts of the United States that expect to have a net increase in annual rain during the 21st century. In a hotter future, because of the high evaporation, demand on the land, prolonged periods with weeks to months of below normal rainfall in these areas can lead to a ton of droughts popping up all over the country. And the trends that we are looking at is for more rainfall in certain areas causing more floods and less rainfall in the areas that really do need them. Large parts of the Northern Plains, for example, have seen rainfall increase by 10% or more in the last three decades. However, the region is not out of the woods for severe drought conditions if the temperature keeps rising and it is a hotter climate than what is normal. At the trail end of what was the wettest decade on record in the region, the Northern Plains experienced an intense flash drought in the summer of 2017 that resulted and an agricultural loss in excess of $2.6 billion and wildfires across millions and millions of acres. These flash droughts can be very bad and come on in a short period of time. 
And the, the problem is they intensify so rapidly over a period of a few weeks and often catch a lot of your forecasters by surprise. Surprise, surprise, right? I mean, we all know how the weatherman doesn't really uh, get too much past the, the first day of the week and uh, the rest of it is we're on our own. The likelihood of flash droughts that can cause severe impacts to our agricultural, our ecosystems, and prominent large wildfires is expected to increase with a warmer and hotter times ahead. Now, one other thing is, flash droughts are also emerging as a growing concern all the way over into the Northeast. Believe it or not, folks, in 2020, much of New England experienced an extreme drought with low stream flows and groundwater levels. Wells were going dry, streams were dry, all that kind of stuff. And widespread crop losses between May and September, aided by very warm and dry conditions, the drought developed very rapidly over a period from what had been above normal wet conditions. As humanity enters into a basically a hotter future because that's where we're headed to prolonged periods of weeks to months of below normal participation and are going to be a greater concern almost everywhere in this country we're heading into really unfamiliar territory if you get what i'm saying the land is greening up earlier and causing an earlier loss of water from the land surface through evaporation. The loss of water from plants and soil, this could result in drier soils in the later half of the growing season when they really need it. As a result, parts of the central and western U.S. could see both increased greenery and drying in the future, separated across the growing season. With a rapidly changing climate and hotter temperatures that we are anticipating in the near future, we are entering unfamiliar territory. The world will need new ways to better anticipate future droughts that could transform natural and human systems. As of May 19th, the agricultural price index is up 42% compared to January 21. Uh, wheat prices are up 91% higher, respectfully, compared to January 21. Rice prices have dropped down to about 12% lower. That is as of May 19th of this year. Domestic price inflation remains very high, folks. Between January 2022 and April of 2022, 92.9% percent of low income housing and 84.2 percent of lower middle income and 78 percent of the upper income have witnessed inflation levels above five percent with many experiencing double digit inflation according to the world's bank and their report in the end of april 2022 the war in ukraine has altered global patterns of trade, production, and consumption in ways that will keep prices historically high levels through the end of 2024, making the food insecurity and inflation a lot worse than what a lot of the experts and analysts are predicting. Numerous countries are experiencing a very high food price inflation at the retail level, reflecting labor shortages, a sharp rise in the price of fertilizer for all the farmers, currency devaluations, and other factors. Rising food prices have a greater impact on people in low and middle income families since they spend a larger share of their income on food than people in a higher income family does. The moral of this story is, folks, the writing's on the wall. I've been talking about people that we need to have a perfect growing season this year. We need to have a really, really good, strong year with our farmers and everything else. And they're doing the best that they can do out there, folks. But there's only so much they can do when they're fighting against Mother Nature. 
I want you to be aware of what is taking place and I want you to be aware that this is very, very critical information that you need to make sure that you and your family do all that you can do before the end of the year gets here. And we are dealing with all these bad scenarios that are going to be coming around because the doomsday drought is coming and you need to prepare now this could be very bad they're talking huge droughts out west major flooding in the central part of the country what is that going to mean for us that means that there's going to be low crop yields crops are going to be destroyed they're not even going to grow or if they did grow they may be flooded out all it takes is one natural disaster to really push this to a doomsday type situation i don't mean to scare people but i want you to be aware i want to get your attention and i want you to be able to provide for you and your family in a time of need so i am survival preparedness for beginners Thank you for joining me on this video today. I hope everybody stays safe. Keep prepping. Do all that you can do. Plant your own gardens. Do whatever it takes to secure food for you and your family before time runs out. Till next time, I'll catch you all on the flip side.